Hello and welcome back to Flash Games. We're playing Day Traders of the Dead today. I haven't played this game in years. I can hardly remember it, but it's Day Traders of the Dead, so we'll, we'll work our way through. We'll learn on the job. Um, we're playing on Armor Games today. I was originally going to do, what is it, SAS Assault. I was going to do the second one, SAS Zombie Assault 2, because I was like, this will be fast and easy. We'd have something to compare it to. Um, you know, because we'd already done SAS Assault, Zombie Assault 1. But every time I tried to get on zombiegames.net, it was like, you need a password, and, uh, uh, like, it was just, like, it was doing the, um, uh, like, white web page pop-up, you know, username, password thing, and I'm like, okay, well, something's probably wrong with their website at this second, so I'll just move on with my life. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I couldn't access that website right now, so I was like, that's stupid. Um, so that's why we're doing this right now, and, you know, I was kind of bummed out, because... I really wanted to do Zombie Assault 2 because it, we would be able to compare it to Zombie Assault 1 while I was still, I still remembered it. That would have been that would have been interesting. Anyway, um, and and we, you know, I, I do like the on Armor Games they do the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, and that's it. There's no there's no asking people for what they think of things. It's just thumbs up, thumbs down. I always liked that. I always liked the idea of would you play like did you enjoy this or not? And that's it. That's the only metric for games. Um, I like that as a you know, instead of having people like, oh, which 7 out of 10 is what I think this game would be, or whatever. Um, and, you know, and, and for a zombie, uh, and as I said about the SAS zombie assault, I was like, this is well made, has a lot of things going on with it, not really my thing. So, you know, it'd be harder for me to give a normal score for it, but if it's just thumbs up, thumbs down, it's like, well, this is a thumbs up, this is a good game. CQC is barely a thumbs up. That would be one where it's like, okay, you know, it does just enough to be fun, but... There's a lot of did wrong, you know, so that's one that's like, ooh, that's, that's a hesitant thumbs up, but it's still a thumbs up, because it still worked, and it still, you know, was was a game, I mean, it still had a story, it still had working gameplay, um, you know, there was stuff going on there, it's just, you know, multiple types of gun, well, there's the one gun, and then there's the, the grenade explosion thing, um, minor puzzles, you know, so there was stuff going on there, but it was just barely fun, right? It was barely fun because of some of the annoying aspects of that game. It also had the enemy health thing, so that was a big plus whenever I was thinking of, like, well, would I, would I give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if I was being real about it um, and really thinking about it? Um, the the menu, the options menu, the fact that, that worked and that was that was present was one of the things I was like, that's a thumbs up right there because it's, it's a big deal. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's hope this works because <laughs> this... Being a black screen doesn't fill me with the most, um, confidence. I'm also hearing zero sound. Oh, because it's muted. Unmute the tab, please. Uh, I said unmute the tab. There we go. Oh, shit, it's loud. Let me just lower my, uh, headset real low. Okay. Alright, I don't remember any of this. This doesn't help me at all. So let's just go see how this goes. Alright. I don't like this weird... Phone? Old school telephone? Boop, boop, boop thing? I don't like that. Play through six levels and defeat the greed virus? Okay, we'll try that story. The True Tale of Greed. It's an acronym. G. R E E D. What's the acronym mean? We don't know yet. Um, easy. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Like shooting zombies in a bank. Or like nothing you've experienced. We're gonna play on normal, of course. Yeah, we'll try normal. Walk into the level transporter to start. Well, what if I want to start with level two? What in the? What is this guy even wearing? How very odd. Okay. We'll walk into teleporter one. Level one, Brussels, central stock floor. A terrible virus has swept through the ranks of global financial leaders. Normally honest, hardworking bank executives and stock traders have been ravaged by a virus strand known as greed. The only salvation for these lost souls is, unfortunately, death. Huh. Yeah, normally hard work. Yeah, yeah I, I forgot this game was a social commentary, but hey, that's okay. We'll go. We'll go for. I remember this. 
Now, am I supposed to stop them from getting somewhere, or am I just trying to live? I guess I'm just trying to live. Gathering some things. Beautiful. I'm trying to figure out the whole shooting mechanic. Oh, I got a, I got a machine gun off the ground somewhere. <laughs> Grab some stuff. Yeah, grab some. Just trying to grab the money and things. Okay. All the money off of these people's dead bodies. Oh, I love looting undead people. Damn it. That nuke pushes me back too, it's weird. Can I manually reload? Does not seem to be the case that I can manually reload. Okay, so what's the money for then in the game? That's gonna be an interesting bit. Do I upgrade something? Do I just get to start with better weapons? What's the dealio? That'll be fun to find out. This place, there's so many dead zombies here, this would be putrid to walk through. I mean, it, the smell alone would be horrific and ungodly, right? But just everywhere you step, you'd be stepping on bone and sinew, and just disgusting, disgusting. Can I can I use anything with these? Level two, Shanghai Futures Trading Lobby, Global Range Envy and Tro Global Range Envy and Trophy Entropy Dysphoria, also known as the Greed Virus. Oh, okay, that's the acronym. G R E E D, Global Range Envy and Trophy Entropy. Dysphoria, also known as the greed virus, has reached global pandemic scale. As the loss adjuster, it falls on your shoulders to reset the failing global economy by purging markets of infected personnel. What in the fuck? What kind of acid trip was the creator on when he made this game, right? Like, I mean, that's something that we just have to ask. So the money is useless. Is this a magnum? Sweet. What's up, bitches? Accuracy, that's what I'm about. I missed. Son of a bitch. Came back to bite me right away. Nuke. Need all this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Reloading. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's getting bad now. Push through. I have so much HP that it doesn't matter. Yeah, this Magnum is cool because it's accurate, but I mean... Man, you know, just not not enough output to be able to, um, where the hell's my mouse? To be able to keep these dudes off me. I need this right now. Bam, booshki. So, probably should have kept the uh, shotgun. Really, this seems like the shotgun's the only good weapon, huh? I mean, the mag I like, don't get me wrong, the Magnum's great because it's a one-shot kill. Like, I like that a lot. It's just that there's too many zombies for that to really be the thing you work with, right? I'm not even going to really bother to go get the money off the floor and stuff. God, do I wish I had this kind of money in real life. But, um, oh, God! Oh, God! Um. <sighs> but there's just no point because there's no upgrade system. There's nothing like that, so why do I need it? Answer is I don't. Level clear. Virus cleanse from region. What's your next move? Well, I guess I'll just go to the next mission. Level three. Tokyo Markets Dojo. New forms of greed infected have been discovered. Grotesque bloated mega CEOs wander the trading floors looking for scraps of bonds, shares, and human infants to feast on. Heavy artillery must be employed to bring them down. Okay weird options oh there is another game I was I'm just now kind of partially remembering it's sort of oh I wanted those shit I was I was looking at the stupid disc thing and I wasn't thinking about the gun that I was gonna pick up um, there's like another game where like you have a squad of people that aren't, they aren't, like, the best, but, um, it's similar to this, because you also still pick up, you know, what, uh, 
like the money drops and things and and, uh, and that's and that's how you do upgrades and stuff but um, I don't know if it was the same person or not I don't think so and I'll never find that game again because jeez Louise you know how hard it is to find some of these older games if they haven't if they never made it to the right sites right then you'll just never see them again that's how it goes I mean, I'm not just gonna go searching through all the zombie games ever. Oh my God, he was so rich. Oh, why also? Why would a CEO be on a on a trading floor? Do they the, the the person who make this not know that, you know, there's no no normal people go to the trading floors. Like there's there there are guys there that do all the all the trades for you. Like you don't ever do it. Like so if you're if you're stock trading the actual people at the stock market you know they're the ones who are um, like you, you don't go to the stock market and put the money in yourself right you basically pay a guy to who's already there on the floor to then you know get the stock um, so these CEOs wouldn't be here is the point not allowed to be here but they also wouldn't know what the hell they were doing anyway so Kind of would like uh, some bigger, bigger boomies, some bombs to kill some of these fat cat CEOs. Oh man, I'm loaded. Jeez, look at all that money—one hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. That's a decent amount of change. You know, decent amount of change. Completely meaningless. Do 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 do. Oh, this gun. Oh, I mean, it did a fair amount. Of, oh no, it's doing a lot of damage. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. This thing is pretty grand. also interesting with how banks um, exchange foreign currency it's very interesting because like if you're if you're a trader who's buying foreign currency you're buying it from the banks basically and it's just it's the whole if, if you watch a documentary on it the whole thing's very weird because a lot of phone calls it's a lot of writing down things it's a lot of raising your hand and telling someone like yeah we got a buyer here 40,000 you know bonds at this month or whatever you know it's all this, it's just a really weird system. Anyway. Level 4, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Capital City. Vic, wait, what? I guess there's just a bank called Capital City. Oh, fucking stupid. Victims of the virus have achieved sentience and are now capable of reproduction. You must, you must be sure to focus firepower on their spawning highs before you are overwhelmed by their hideous throng. Oh god. Oh god. Taste my machine gun with its pitter patter. Or pata pata pata, I guess. I don't know. If you were gonna. Uh, what is it? Onomatopoeia? The, um. The. This gun, I think it would be pata pata pata, right? Or rata rata rata. <laughs> One of the two. That's not a reproductive hive at all. That's just a, that's, that's you're a liar. Ow, ow! Hey, can you fools get out of the way? Thank you. Yeah, not a reproductive hive at all, but you know, just a spawn. I thought that we were gonna have like maybe. Oh sweet! I'm in a jungle gym. Yeah. Thought we were gonna have a different type of enemy. Oh gosh. Can this break? Thank you, game. Thank you kindly was what I wanted to say, and then I just started saying game. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't the right word. Yeah! 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 This gun's pretty great. Hold on, let me line them up. Boop. 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 
Okay, you can't do that. That's just rude. That's right, stay out of my jungle gym. You... Ow. I hit down instead of up. Oh man, that was bad. What gun is this? Oh no, it's the... When did my normal pistol become a goddamn murder machine? Look at this thing, it's one shot kill now. Alright. We're back to the Ratata. Or the Patata. Whatever you want to call it. What's that? Is that the Yes, my jungle gym! You gotta love jungle gyms, they're so uh fun. And a great exercise. You get some climbing and it's not very high off the ground, so when you inevitably fall and break your neck. Uh, well, whenever, you're, whenever you inevitably fall, you probably won't break your neck, was what it was supposed to be, but then I... Oh, God, I hate that thing so much. It's just an annoyance. Ooh. Now there are mummies? What the shit? Damn it, I tried... <laughs> I'm just I'm impatient. I'm just like, I want to go fast. I wanna come fast. I wanna go fast. Because I want it to be over this mission. I was close enough the first time, I think. Oh, I hate the spawners. They are such a pain in the ass. Oh, see, now that's just beautiful. If you got the power up with a railgun, apparently that spawner just can't stand you at all. Beautiful. But, you know, probably not going to happen again. <laughs> I wanted that shield, but I guess I won't get it. That's fine. Is that a Gatling gun? No, I want that. I want that. No! The pickups could last a little bit longer. That would be... That would be nice. Give me all this, and I'll just do 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 Oh, even the railgun on its own does a shit ton of damage. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was back to pistol for a second. Oh, God! Pistol there for a second. Anyway, very annoying that zombiegames.net not working right now. You know, very, very annoying. Good thing I have some games on Armor Games and... Oh! Yeah, baby! This is useless. It's actually pretty terrible. I mean, look how many bullets it's offloading. It's not killing things in one hit. Oh, uh, well. At least it can out and put a bunch of bullets at once. Hold on. Hold on. Yes! Now you die! I hate this. And it takes a second to start shooting. This, oh, oh no. <laughs> Clear them out. Oh, you guys need to stop coming out from like the other part of the screen. You know I can't see you when you're there. That's just un uncool. Ah, there we go, gun. Thank you. I think we're done, though. Thank you. Yep. Good job. Greed virus cleansed from region. What's your next move? Well, I guess I'll just keep going. Level 5, London Stock Exchange. The locus of the infestation is close at hand. Head into battle confident with your bristling arsenal. Purge with the Prophet's Pistol. Slay with the Solvency Stinger. Solvency Stinger. Quell with the Quantitative Easing Minigun.
That's that's the bell to tell you that the trading has begun. Hmm. This gun sucks. This is. Thanks for that. I hated it. Would be the. Uh, oh my god. Oh, that guy was loaded. Here's another one. Boom. Mmm, baby. Ooh, baby. Ow. Damn it. This shitty gun. Yeah, I would like a, a better weapon, please. Um... Yeah, I can make this work. This is one of my preferred ones. Oh shit, though. It's getting uh, it's getting hazy. It's getting hazy. Reload, you fool! I clicked off the screen, but it wouldn't have mattered. I don't like that it pushed the zombie instead of killing it. It's like, what the hell is the point of that? But okay. Can I please... Get a gun that just does a little bit more. Oh, that didn't. I just got hit by a bus. That wasn't. That wasn't very cool. This gun is terrible. I didn't want it. It just happened to be dropped right in my path that I was running. Oh, that's. This is where it ends. This is where we die. Damn it, I needed that! Oh, I needed it all! Why do you do this to me, game? Oh, thank God. It's at least something. Oh my God, it's like I'm playing Mass Effect. <laughs> Didn't want this. Didn't want this. God damn, boss, you're useless. Oh, these these weapons are just the worst. These weapons are the worst. I hate it. This is, uh, this is obviously intended to be a hard level, but god damn it, I don't want to. I don't think I can beat it unless I get like the perfect weapon drops, or if I don't accidentally keep tr switching weapons that I need for weapons I don't need. That that didn't help very much. Um, we'll try it one last time. One last time. If we lose, then we won't go do it again. That's the rule that we're going by. Okay, we're starting off strong at least. Yes! Oh shit, someone just walked up on me. That was unfortunate. What is this? Oh! I, I clicked off the screen. Son of a bitch. I was wondering why my character just stopped. I was like, am I charging something up? Is this different than what I think it is? It was not. Cool, we're in slow motion. Well, the rest of the world is. I'm the fucking Flash. I'm just, I'm just going to town. Could really use a gun that works. Oh, thank you very much. Yes! Yes, the gun that works! Oh, but now they're getting mad at me. I accidentally picked up a Magnum, because it just happened to be there. Pushing it. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. God. I 
I nuked the dick all. How long is this freaking level? It'd be really nice if I could stray to the edge of the uh, screen without zombies coming in and just jacking my shit, but that's okay. I think we're good. I think this is the last batch, basically. So we just clear off a couple of them, you know, and voila, I guess. Can you guys, uh, die? Man, when they get mad at you, they just hustle, don't they? Alright. That sucked. Level 6. The Secret Shars... The Secret Shares Lair. The 1980s. The origin of the greed strain has been located in 1984. Your final mission will be return to this era of indulgence and destroy the virus before its terrible roots take a permanent stranglehold on our troubled present day bankers. I don't know what happened in 1984. Also, there's so many bullet casings on the ground, like, it's a miracle I haven't just tripped and broken my neck, right? Just slipped on some bullet casings. I mean, you would slip on blood, too. You, blood is pretty slippery, you know, so. It's just, it's a miracle my character hasn't fallen on his goddamn neck and just died yet. <laughs> that pushed me into that, interesting. Wait, that's the laser beam. Fuck that noise. Oh my gosh, there's nothing here for me anymore. What in the shit have I picked up? Holy crap, I didn't even see them all over there. <laughs> yeah, not a step back, but a step forward. Boy, I could use, um, instead of these stupid nukes that don't seem to do anything, I could use something else, you know. Well, that might work for what I need. Let me just make sure that I get all the uh, upgrades before I... Can I please reload? Damn, I would have loved to get the, uh, the thingy.
back to the disco sound. Again, I would love to just be paid three hundred million or three hundred thousand dollars in real life right now. I don't need three hundred million. That's way too much. I can't do anything with that kind of money. I mean, I could find stuff to do with that, but God, that'd just be that's too much. I don't know, I'm not that greedy. Three hundred thousand—that's enough. Uh, not to live off of, but it's, that gets me pretty far. You know, so I guess three hundred thousand would be enough to live off of. You'd have to pay taxes on it. And, you know. Congratulations, you have destroyed the greed virus. As the conflict ends, the sun already rises on the dawn of a return to principal virtuous economic institutions. Righteousness and trust has been restored in the solid world of high finance. Or, ha or has it? Daydreamers of the Dead was brought to you by Cone Dog. In, conjun in conjunction with tremendous amounts of cocaine and acid. No. Development and code wrangling, Voynex. Visuals and soundy boom booms. Oh wait, Voynex did the. Oh, never mind. I. You know what? We're. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed. It. If you did, tell your friends. Tell your mom and pops. Tell your uncle and aunt. Tell your teller. Tell the world. Until next time, keep your eyes on the prize and watch out for those greed-infected zombies taking your loot. Woot. There you go. That was Day Traders of the Dead. Cleared story mode. Feeling indestructible? Play survival mode and play for the ultimate high score. I won't do that because uh, I barely made it through the campaign. So, nonetheless, that was pretty okay. I mean, it was, it was it's a functional game. It has a lot going on. A lot of different weapons and pickups and things. Um, very short. Again, another short game that you can just play through when you have time. Which is what um, old school flash games really were they were meant to be played in short periods of time and it was an, it was kind of an anomaly to find flash games that had big storylines to them that were long term anyway that was day traders of the dead um developed by a, a, a deleted account i suppose okay well son of a bitch anyway it was published july 31st 2009 and if we hit this twitter button let's see uh... oh armor games get the fuck out of your armor games i thought it was going to take me to the actual developer well or or, or is armor games did, did, they, did they i don't fucking know anymore <sighs> anyway um... yeah that about sums it up for this game thank you for joining me we played through day traders of the dead it was a thing um, Guy's wearing his watch on his left hand, so I guess he's left-handed. Is that what you do? I mean, I'm right-handed. I like to put my watch on my right hand, so I just assume. Anyway, I'll see ya. Goodbye. It's kind of weird. The greed virus makes you hunger for stocks, bonds, and infants, but you know, maybe that's just what these zombie movies just never understood. Zombies weren't killing us to eat us; they're killing us to steal our money. <laughs> All right. Well, goodbye. I'm done now.